Hey friends, here in the basement, and I don't know about everybody else, but I have got spring up fever, and I don't think I'm the only one because gardeners are very optimistic people I've found uh, um, in my experience. So what I'm doing today is I'm going through all of my pepper varieties, and I am picking the peppers, <laughs> picking the peppers that I'm going to grow this year by variety. Now I'm gonna start peppers probably next week. I'm gonna do one more week without doing peppers. And what I'm gonna do in this next week while I'm waiting is first I'm gonna go through all of my cold hardy things, all of my flowers, all the things. I wanna make sure that I have all those herbs and all those things done first. And then I'm gonna make sure all the things that I already have planted are in big enough pots so they're organized so that pretty much everybody's okay and I can put all my focus on my peppers. But first to do that, I need to make my pepper to-do list. And I grow peppers for myself, for a couple of family members, and then I do sell some if I have any left over in the spring. So I need to make a list of first, how many hot and sweet peppers I need, and second, which varieties I wanna do. So I'm gonna start getting going and I'm gonna take you through my process here as I figure out what to plant a week from now. Okay, I went through all my pepper seeds by myself because that would just have been embarrassing for both of us to look at how many seeds I have that I do not need. I have a glut of pepper seeds. And I've decided these are the ones I'm gonna plant. Now I have to figure out how many I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna take a sheet of paper and make myself a pretty little grid. Zoop, and I'm gonna go sweet and hot. And then I'm gonna put um, my mom on here. I'm growing peppers for my mother, my sister, she'll want a little bit more, my sister-in-law, and myself. Okay, does that list make sense? Okay, and then I'm gonna put in one of the things they told me that they want, add in what I want, and then I'll know about how many peppers to start sweet and hot. So my mother, all she wants are four red bell peppers. Red bells. No hot. None. My sister, on the other hand, does want hot peppers. She wants 12 jalapenos. She wants 6 to 12 other hot varieties, and she doesn't care what kind. Okay? She also wants about 24 sweet bells um, or banana peppers. So 24 sweet, almost 24 hot. My sister-in-law wants a couple of each of the following varieties. And I'm gonna go three by a couple. Jalapeno and let's see what else. California Wonder. Orange Sun, which is a orange uh, bell pepper, lilac bell, which is like you probably guessed, a purple one. King of the North, which is also a bell pepper suited for colder places like we are. Okay, interruption by my family. It happens, this is real life. Okay, where was I? Kel Wonder, Orange Sun, Lilac Bell, King of the North. Should also like banana. and shishitos, and that's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. So she wants three of each of those. And then I went through and I'm gonna make my list. And my list will include some of the ones up here, but I'm also gonna grow natapenos. A natapeno is a jalapeno with the heat bread out of it. I got my seeds from Baker Creek. I've seen it a couple other places too. My daughter likes seeds a lot. There's my shishito, which is already on my list. Lilac Bell, already on my list. And then I'm going to do these Polish peppers. This one's called Nocturne. It's a smaller kind of saladette, a little bit bigger than a saladette maybe. Nocturne. It has terrible germination. You can see... They overpacked it due to low germination. It's kind of difficult to get going. There's one called Ruia. That one's kind of like an elongated bell pepper. 
this kind of ruddy orange one, Etuda. And I got one more Polish pepper, this deep, dark purple one called Zulu. Now, I love to get things that are Polish heirlooms because I'm Polish. <laughs> and, um, and also, Poland peppers do well in my climate. So um, that's why I'm doing those. I am also going to do um, a couple that I got from Tomato, Tomato Growers Supply Company. This is called a Carmen Hybrid. And I'm going to be really honest with you. I don't remember why I'm going to do this one. Because I look through so many seed catalogs and look at so many things online. And somewhere, somewhere, somebody must have said this was a good a good one to try. Try. Um, six inches long, two and a half inches wide, wide shoulders, tapering to point. Looks like it's a very good one for roasting or grilling or stuffed. And for some reason, I thought I wanted to try it. So this year, I'm trying it. I'm also doing the same thing with this purple Marconi. Purple Marconi. And one more gypsy hybrid now i do remember this one it's about three to five inches i thought this would be really good snacking pepper for the kids and for brent packing his lunches so we're gonna try that one i'm gonna do cayennes to make cayenne powder tabascos for hot sauce poblanos which i'll use in chili powder try pepperoncinis this year. I've never done them before. My husband likes them. So we're going to kind of see what we think. Um, I'm probably going to try, try and pickle them. Pepperoncini. And then these two are from Haas Tools. They are hybrids and um, they've got a line of these. The Mama, Mama Mia Rosa Pepper and the Mama Mia Yellow Pepper. And I want to try both of them because it was a really good roasting pepper. So we're gonna try these guys today. Not today, this year. The Rosa and the Giallo. Okay. That is just extra jalapeno seeds, banana. If I grew one pepper, it's the banana pepper. This one's the Lola banana from Haas. I also have, let's see here. I also have a pack I saved myself. They're two years old, so I have to check the germination and see how they go, but we're going to do those. Banana. And then I'm going to do this one. I did this one last year for the first time. It's called Pippin's Golden Honey. This was a great one to can whole and use for like charcuterie boards um, or snacking stuff later on. It's got a good size and they have the prettiest, prettiest colors. It's a good one to put in lunch boxes too. Pippin's. And then I got a couple little guys in here, too. Let's see what this dude is. Ooh, these are my hot ones. Fish pepper. And this one is sugar rush peach. Tequila sunrise. And these ones are a sweet one called Jimmy Nardello. I thought these were very good. I saw them on the Roots and Refuge um, garden. I bought them. They didn't work for me last year. They didn't germinate good or they just didn't come up well. I'm going to try them one more time. Jimmy Nardello. So those are all my varieties. Next thing I got to do is think about how many plants I personally want. This might take me a minute. I'll be back. Okay, now I'll take you through my thought process. You didn't want to watch that. It was kind of ugly. Um, let's just say this is not the first paper. I had to throw that one away. So the space I have in my garden for peppers is I have a 30 foot long side garden in the ground. And I'm going to do a 30 foot row of peppers, a double row. I have found my peppers do better planted in pairs. Some people call this, say the peppers like to hold hands. I think a pepper does better when it's got a friend. So I like to give them another friend. They grow side by side. 
not super close, a couple inches, but long enough that their branches intertwine just a little bit and they kind of give each other some support. No more than two, but that's what I do. So I'm gonna have 20 pairs in this 30 foot row. I put my peppers about a foot apart, a foot to 18 inches. So I can comfortably get about 20 pairs in there. When I'm planting, if that looks a little too tight, I'll just move some out a little bit, uh, but that's what I'm gonna plan with. In the backyard, I have got a 16 foot raised bed that I am going to do a double row as well um, in the 16 foot row bed. And I'm only gonna do eight pairs because I'm giving myself a little more room because in this bed, I have a little bit of asparagus on the end over here and I have a patch of green onion right over here. So I'm gonna just do eight pairs on this side. And then I have got some pots on my porch that I'm gonna do. So first thing I did is decide what I'm gonna put where. So I've decided that I'm gonna take this pepperoncini plant that I um, am trying new for the first year and put it in pots. I think it gives it its best chance of success in the winter um, climate that I'm in because as it gets warmer, the pot heats the soil and peppers like it hot. So I'm going to want two or three pepperoncinis to put in a pot, maybe two pots. In this raised bed back here, these eight pairs, I've decided that I am gonna do these peppers because I know this bed performs well. It's got very good soil in it. It's a raised bed, it's one of my very first raised beds. The soil has been cultivated and composted over and over again. So I know this is the best chance of success for my peppers. So these are the ones I wanna make sure we do well with. Banana, because that's my family's favorite pepper to munch on. Shishitos, because we grew those last year and loved cooking them not a peños and jalapenos and what i'm going to do is put those on either end so i'm telling my daughter you can eat these ones but if you eat those ones you're in for a surprise and then i'll put my banana and my shishito in the middle because i want to make cowboy candy this year which is just pretty much canned candied um peppers it's fantastic and my husband loved it here out oh, in this garden i got 20 pairs and that's where everything else here is going to go bells my polish guys my new hybrids i'm going to try all my other hot peppers right here and i'm just going to do two of each of those okay now it's time to put it all together these are all what we want these are cal wonders and i'm going to go ahead and i wrote everything on this list every type and i'm going to go off my sheet and i'm going to write down how many of each kind of pepper we got now the only caveat to this is if i end up with a number not divisible by three I will round up. So for example, if I want, you know, two poblano peppers, I'm going to pack or grow these in six pack cells to start. So I'm going to have three in a row that I want to be the same thing. I'm also giving myself an extra one of everything to make sure that I do not um, short myself. I can always have too many and sell them. If I don't have them, then I might be missing something that I want to have. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this list together. Okay, so here's my final list. As you can see, I ended up, can you see? <laughs> I ended up with five cayenne. So I'm gonna do six cayenne two Tabasco, I'm going to do three. And I'm going to keep up on this until I get all the way down at the end here and figure out how many I'm going to need. And then this is what I am going to plant come next week when it's time to do peppers. All right. I hope that made sense and it wasn't too much confusion. Pretty much I'm just making lists of lists of lists until I end up with a master list so that when I go to plant these, because this is a lot of peppers, when I go to plant these, I want to have um, as much time as I can just grabbing the seeds and putting them into soil and not trying to figure it out on the go. Being organized ahead of time is always a better way to go. All right, here's the peppers. Mm -hmm.